everyone. How you been doing this summer? I hope you are all doing good. We enjoying the time in our village. Ah. And uh, Matt is learning how to ride a bicycle. Doucement, doucement. Et le deuxième pied, oui. He is five years old, for those who's asking, and uh, soon it's his sixth birthday in September. Oh, he fell down so many times already from this bicycle. We are in little square which is uh, in the center of our village, inside of the village, near the chateau. And uh, it's always quiet here. We have another place where he can ride a bicycle, but there are lots of kids. And uh, he's not that concentrated. And now he's doing progress. <laughs> Today is Saturday and we have lots of things to do, like every weekend. Chris already started to um, to bring up everything that he bought this morning to to make a jardinier. It would be like a space in a corner where we will put the plants and the flowers. So he went this morning down to Montau. Bravo, huh? If you remember, I think it was in spring uh, that we started to renovate this area in front of our house. But then summer starts and uh, the time passed so quick. But better late than never. I have a new chairs though. These chairs are from my mother-in-law. They moved recently to a new place and she decided to change the chairs. So we took it and I was not sure about these chairs because I was thinking it would be massive. But it's look good. I'm so happy about it. So all tears going out. We dried organ that we collected in July in our trip to Provence. We are glad that we collected it there because we don't have it much around our village and we love to cook with it, especially put it on the top of the pizza. The weather is so beautiful, there are no clouds on the sky and um, we're gonna go to the for a swim to a beautiful area later this afternoon. First we're gonna prepare everything for a picnic. We're gonna do um, a salty muffins. I'm sure not only in France uh, you eat a salty cakes. This recipe is for the muffins with the tomato confit, black olives, feta and basilic. I usually prepare it when we are going out to the beach or to the forest. It's very practical to eat outside and it's very easy to do. You'll see in five minutes, it's ready. You put all ingredients in dot. You can put 
everything you want, everything you like. It's good to put a pepperoni. I love to do it sometimes with the pepperoni or any other ingredients. <laughs> Let's go to check what Chris is doing outside. <laughs> Chris is really want to make this jardinière this weekend. I see him so motivated and what a pleasure for Matthew to help his father. But me, I'm looking at this beautiful sky and I so want to go out. Look at these beautiful muffins we have here. We'll just make a few sandwiches and we are ready to go down to the sea. I have my little salad growing on the terrace. I wish I will have more time next spring to grow more vegetables and herbs. The sandwich that I'm preparing is very simple with a goat cheese. Our favorite, Chris's favorite. And uh, then I put a little bit of pesto. Fleur de Capre. It's a uh, coppers in English and uh, black olives and some nuts. I always love to put some nuts. Here I put a pine nuts. I know that uh, some don't like capers because it has a strong taste, but you will find quite often capers uh, on a pizza, in a salad on the apéro plate. Gonna take some fruits, water and we are more than ready to go enjoy the summer day. on va à la plage? Ok, cool! <laughs> voilà. We are living with all these tools in the middle for many years now. And sometimes you just have to forget. Take a break and go out. Especially in a very hot August day. Inside the village is not that hot. Because you see, you are in the shadow and um, these uh, stone houses keeps fresh air inside. We are not going to the beach, we are going to the beautiful area in Cap Dai, just um, next to Monaco, because honestly, on the beach, there are lots of people now. In August, it's really crazy because all locals have their vacations, plus tourists. And uh, after working week, I want to just get lost somewhere far from everything. We took a shortcut. This road is a two-way road. And uh, if you follow GPS, GPS will show you this road and uh, it can be very dangerous but in the same time very beautiful. Here we arrived to a beautiful Cap Dai. Dai is the next commune after Monaco 
if you are heading to Nice and uh, all this area is perfect area for Bye -bye. snorkeling here are some people but it's nothing to compare what happens now on the beach so we're gonna look for a um, quiet place and uh, this place is look just perfect what you think it's good sometimes to change from the beach and stay on these beautiful rocks but the thing is I'm filming and uh, you don't see that there the, the sea is not that quiet so uh, Chris is hesitating whether we stay here or we go to the beach I want to stay but ouais. he's right it's too dangerous so yeah we are going to the beach oh, finally wow. and I have a good occasion to show you one of the most beautiful beach it calls Place de la Mala so let's go there where we will be more safe So this beautiful trail calls Sentier du Littoral or Sentier des Douaniers and it's really very pleasant walk au bord de la mer in any time of the year and if you follow this trail you will get to this beach here we are close to this beautiful beach, Plage de la Mala. You can get here by train or by car. And it's just before Monaco, if you are coming from Nice. We're gonna jump into the water now, finally. But our swim didn't last long. I met jellyfish and it hurts. Thanks God it was me <laughs> and not Matthew. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it hurts. But at least we can enjoy our picnic. Beautiful area and the most amazing sunset. Time to go home. Hmm? In the evening, the village is very quiet, and the neighbor's cat is still in the same place.
Matt fell asleep in a second. It's very warm night. Saturday night is the best night. You don't have to think about tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful day. And uh, we're gonna stay in a village. Chris woke up very early today and he's already working downstairs. I hear how he works. We went to our basement to take a backpack, sleeping bags, everything that we need to go for camping next weekend. Because, as you remember, I want to get lost somewhere from everywhere and everything. So I had this idea and the guys approved it immediately. We're gonna go to National Park next weekend. <laughs> hey, Papa! <sighs> Ooh! Oh. C'est pas mal, bah, nous on a ramené tout ça. Chris didn't lose the time. Matt is carrying his Allez, backpack, Matt. so I hope he will do the same tu when we're uh, gonna go to the national no. park. No, on, on va le oui, si tu veux. This is Des good. Ça? So here we're gonna put some plants and flowers. <laughs> oh. The backpacks is for next weekend and uh, now we're gonna go to the forest to pick some berries. <laughs> already ready. To camp ici? It's mieux to camp here. Let's go to the forest. August and it's already time for blackberries. There are lots of blackberries around our village. You don't need to go far. So we went to pick some. They're so delicious. <laughs> Matt call it a berry hunting. This is amazing how the forests are welcoming and it gives so many 
beautiful things fruits, berries and soon mushrooms I think it would be enough I hope you enjoyed our video and uh, I will not thank you enough for watching it. Um. Lots of love. Big hug.